So let's take a look at this. And we're not going to be long because the Lord says, I just need to give you something for you to think about. Think about. We're going to go here in the book of Matthew, the 16th chapter, verses 24 through 26. Jesus was speaking here, then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. You know what that's like? That's like when I see my son-in-law and my daughter with their little baby, with Daniel, and they're walking alone, and they're saying, come on, come on, Daniel, pick up the pacifier. Come on, Daniel, get your pacifier. Come on, Daniel. <laughs> they're constantly trying to get Daniel Take up your cross and follow me. Hello, somebody. And Daniel's kind of looking at them. It's my pacifier, but I wanted to lay down it. But they constantly tell Daniel, go back, get your pacifier. You know what the Lord is saying to us? He says, come unto me. All you who are tired, who labor, are heavy laden, Take up your cross. Come on. Take up your cross. Come on. Take up your cross. Come on. Every day, he's telling us to take up our cross. Now, somebody asked the magic question. Yeah, what's my cross? <laughs> because you look like Daniel. Look, when they act like Daniel went to school already and knows what a pacifier is, they say the word pacify Daniel. What the where the pacifier? <laughs> now Daniel has that pacify all the time. But they're using language that he does not understand. They keep pointing, get your pacifier, get your pa get your pacifier. The Lord says, take up your cross. Take it up. Take up your cross. And you are sitting there looking, what in the world is my cross? If I knew what it was, Lord, I'd take it up. I'd take it up. I would pick it up because you are constantly telling me every day, take up your cross. So just for a brief moment, I want you to think about the cross that Jesus carried. The cross that he bears. Okay? The cross that he bears. What do you see on that cross? What do you see him carrying? Uh, you you got to move these masks so I can hear you. I want to hear you. Okay, he carries the hate of people. What else? What do you see on that cross? Abuse. Sin. Anything that's not of God. What the Lord is saying to us when he says, take up your cross, admit you are a sinner. And get off this high horse that you are a Christian and you don't do no harm. You don't do no wrong. Taking up your cross is looking at your life, taking the inventory of yourself and admitting that I am I am a sinner. And even those of us who've accepted the Lord many years ago, don't even go there talking about I am a sinner saved by grace. Because if you have not done what Christ wants you to do, you haven't been saved yet. <laughs> 